This time I've got the MPD-232. Um, I really like this pad controller. It's far better than the 218. Obviously the 218 is way more portable, but this one gives you way more options for setting things like the threshold for the pad, so how sensitive they are. But what I wanted to talk about in this one was the you can set the velocity curves. Um, and that's really good for the controlling accents and controlling the dynamics of your notes. So let's go to the linear first. So linear, you can imagine, is just a straight line like that. Um, and it's, that's good for sort of steadily building up um, a drum sound. So you can start off soft and work your way up to a, to a high sound. So linear is really good for that one. Then there's the S curve, and I find the S curve is really good for separating some hard and soft sounds. So you can so it's harder to control in a steady way. You find you find that the notes can either easily be hard or soft depending on what you want. So that's a good one. Um, then there's a the logarithmic. So you can imagine a log curve. Uh, goes to a high velocity very quickly. So it's really good for um, having just different hard notes. So you can hear that one there. And then probably my favorite is the exponential one. This is one I probably use the most because it's really good for soft. You can have really nuanced soft notes and it goes hard only at the end, only when you hit it really hard. encourage you to play with that, doing different accents. Um, and having a bit of fun and playing around with it. That's all.